Thank you, uh, Presiding Officer. Just a, a quick word to uh, Monica Lennon. Uh, I've sat round the boardroom table at the Bank of England on a number of occasions. I, of course, left banking after 30 years to come into politics to improve my reputation. Um, and just a little thing that uh, Elaine Smith has just illustrated, perhaps, about the advice that we all sometimes receive about things. Um, the last thing that you wish to do if you have a hot flush or you're sweating or your temperatures rise is to take a cold drink. And the reason for that is a cold drink will actually boost your system and turn the temperature up. Because when the cold drink hits your stomach, it's very close to blood vessels and your temperature rises. That's why in the Middle East people eat chai, drink chai banana, which is warm tea. Because putting something warm in your stomach lowers your temperature and reduces the flush. Medical advice often doesn't cover these very, very simple things. But of course, the whole issue of the menopause is not simply a medical issue, it's not just a physical issue, it's a social uh, and employment issue. And of course, it's not just an issue for women, but it's also an issue uh, for us men. I'm glad that uh, I think four of us are going to speak in this debate uh, today. And it's an issue for us, uh, perhaps, simply because we are there to provide support for those close to us who are affected by this issue. But we also may find ourselves employed by women or employing women who are affected uh, by this. We will also meet casually and formally uh, women who are affected by it. I may say uh, Elaine Smith very effectively concealed the use of the fan in previous uh, session, and I congratulate her on it, uh, but she deserves every support for that. And we will meet uh, pre-menopausal or perimenopausal uh, women who are worried about how, I really don't have time, do forgive me, uh, how we men may react to the menopausal symptoms. So I think we men have a duty uh, to be part of an environment in which women feel comfortable uh, about uh, the menopause because it's something that will happen to all our female friends, relatives, and, and people we meet. And it's part of men learning to deal with their hormone issues, which largely take us to have more aggressive responses to circumstances that we find uncomfortable about. And we have to learn uh, to be much more supportive in our relationships with people we love and people we meet and people we just bump into. Uh, placing neither the male nor the female in a superior or inferior position uh, to one or the other, but simply to recognize that there are differences that arise uh, from gender. It's uh, interesting that uh, Professor Mary Minkin of Yale Medical School has done some research on the effects of this and found that Swedish, Danish, and Norwegian women are most likely to report that going through the menopause is better than they expected. But she found that women in the US, the UK, and Canada say their experience is worse than expected. Now that tells us that this is not simply a physical and hormonal change, but it's also something about the information that people have and how society reacts to people. We've heard uh, some references to diet, exercise, and attitudes to getting older. Well, I'd like people to like older people a bit better, being the only septuagenarian speaking uh, this afternoon. In Japan, the older revered, but here we're more likely uh, to be uh, pitied. Uh, presiding officer, just in conclusion, um, we've talked a little bit about uh, employment. And the DWP actually are reporting that the highest increases in recent times in employment are in the 60, 64 and 55 to 59 age group. Uh, that's what in gender uh, has, uh, has, has told us. So, presiding officer, I very much welcome this debate and the opportunity to participate in it. I hope I leave the debate a little better informed and a little better prepared to deal with the effects in men and women of the menopause.